YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another video, and I found something today that was just too hilarious not to share. So what you're looking at here is obviously a Hot Wheels Team Transport. In fact, a quite desirable one, the Skyline Van wagon um, with the truck. Uh, of course, this is a Team Transport. This came out, I believe, in the first wave of Team Trans. A little dusty because I've had it sitting just out in the open for quite a while. Um, but anywho and how, pretty cool release. It's pretty desirable release. But uh, I was shocked today. I walked into a Menards, okay? And if you're not familiar with Menards, I don't even know if they're nationwide. I think, I don't know if it's more of a Midwest thing or what, but they're kind of a big box, um, like Home Depot or Lowe's, like a big box hardware store. Okay, I guess that's the easiest way to describe them. Hang on one second here, I'm fixing the camera. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, they have this little cheapo die-cast bin. And I found the, <laughs> this. And it gets it gets even crazier. But I, I found this guy right here. Obviously a knockoff of Hot Wheels Team Transport, just labeled die-cast. Die cast. Look at this Advan uh, Team Transport. Um, there's not really much on here except for that it's uh, distributed by Menard Incorporated, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Made in China, of course. Uh, small parts, not for children under eight years old. There is like zero information on the back aside from that. Pretty funny. Um, these <laughs> are two dollars and ninety nine cents. So quite a bit less expensive than buying the old Hot Wheels uh, team transport line at a Target. Uh, so anyway, I had to pick these up because they are they were very comedic. And I got three different ones. I actually bought two of this Skyline one just because. I already opened one up. I had to check it out like immediately. So I ended up getting two. So for three bucks, I was like, you know, let's... We have to buy. We have to. Um, all right. So we're going to do a little compare and contrast, of course, starting with this one here. So uh, scale wise, pretty close to on the plastic truck, or I'm going to call it the plastic truck. Actually, you know what? They are bang on scale wise, like identical scale wise. You do get headlight detail up front here. Uh, the base of these is plastic. The bed is plastic, the cab is metal, whereas this, the only thing plastic on this, you got metal, 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 that's plastic, and that's it. And of course, you got rubber tires with tread, rubber real rider, wheels. These are not real riders, but they are rubber. This is also screwed together and not riveted together. Very limited detailing on the bottom here. Uh, zero, just manufactured by Menard Corp. No <laughs> licensing whatsoever on this. So this is not a licensed uh, version of the vehicle. Just wild, man, that, to see this. Now, this car is all plastic. The body's metal. It does have an interior, though. Uh, tinted windows. And, you know, you get a little bit of detail on the front. Nothing on the back. We get this little stripe here on the bottom. Of course, it is missing the Advan uh, logo. But, uh, yeah, and the mirrors on the, on the top there. Feels super cheap. It is super cheap. And of course, plastic base. And we got plastic tires on this one. But I, dude, I thought this was so funny uh, to see these at a Menards. I had to grab them. Um, just crazy. Really not a bad value, though, if you think of it. They're only $3. And you get like a little cheapo Hot Wheel imitation car. And you get a, a cheapo Hot Wheel imitation truck. So for, you know, kids and stuff, it's really not that bad. So you can see there's some differences uh, in the molding in the front. And of course they can't make it a bang on example because then they're going to really have a problem. Maybe they will. I don't know. I don't know if Hot Wheels would pursue some sort of lawsuit with this, but it's, I mean, it's blatant, blatant ripoff. So just wild. But what I was saying is it's not that bad of value because you know, although it's mostly plastic, it's cheap and stuff like that, but it does roll. It would make a decent little toy, I guess. And, um, you know, for the, the kiddos that don't really care about it being a valuable, resellable Hot Wheel item like this is in the package, yeah, who cares? But uh, it's very, very interesting. The other nice thing about these are rubber tires, and I could definitely see some truck, people that customize trucks and stuff, using these uh, wheels for something. 
So, and they're a, a wheel is fixed on the axle, so it's not even constructed like a Hot Wheel, but I mean, they do roll. So I could see some customizers doing some cool stuff with, you know, both of these items, why not? Um, but yeah, it definitely feels really cheap. And of course it is. So definitely a huge weight difference between these two. So what other ones did I get? Um, well, they had two other ones in there. And the other one that was just completely a blatant, blatant, blatant ripoff was this one right here. <laughs> Does that look familiar? Um, and then as I showed pictures of this to my Lamley like writer group discussion thing or whatever on WhatsApp, we kind of talked to each other. He did mention that it could be a wheel error. <laughs> I don't know. They might've all had this front wheel like this and the back wheel like this. I don't know. And I, there were, there was a bunch of them there, but I just didn't really look at it. So card art, same deal. I mean, we got the same generic stuff going on here. Uh, but yeah, does that look familiar to you? Mm, probably should look at this guy. Coloring's not quite right. Wheels, of course, are not quite right, but uh, this thing has fast instead of Momo. Oh my goodness. Well, let's open it up and let's take a peek. <clears throat> so, plastic all around on this one, except for the cab of the truck, of course. Rubber tires, though. Again, uh, the back that folds down, what is this? There's a little piece of cardboard in there holding the car, I guess, in position. And then here's your Porsche. <laughs> I mean, that's a ripoff. That's a blatant ripoff. Like, there's no doubt. Like, when you see these, what's going on here? It's absolutely hilarious, actually. I'm so glad I picked these up I've, that I didn't leave them behind because I'm like, I have to pick these up and I have to show them. And, like... I mean, they just, I mean, it's blatant, blatant. I mean, look at that, like everything, every little, like most of all the details on this one, I don't like see any real difference in the casting very much. Even the interior uh, tooling looks basically the same. Of course they tooled it in plastic down here, but that is pure comedy. <clears throat> the wheels, the wheels on this one actually look like a rips off, rip offs of Hot Wheels wheels like the pr5s the plastic of course they're not the rubber real riders that you'd give with this one but what the heck man <laughs> come on that is funny i mean even check it out yeah of course it fits in there you know why it fits in there because it's literally the same size it's literally the same scale it's like it's i <laughs> not identical okay that's wrong does this thing shut though yeah, it does. Ooh, snapshot good. <laughs> but look at that. No graphic on the back there. Skimped out a little bit on that one. But for $2.99, check it out. You don't even have the injection mold uh, little thing dimple right there like you do on the top of the Hot Wheels. That's hidden. That's cleverly hidden on this one. That's actually a step ahead. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Okay. So there's that one. And then there's a third one. Now this one is not as egregious, but it's still, I, like I almost mixed up putting this truck now with the, the knockoff and then that one with that. That's comedy. All right. <clears throat> the next one is this. And this one's not as bad, I guess. It's not as bad from a graphic standpoint, but here, this is basically this, right? So snake. Okay. So this one's the one that's least bad, well, not bad, at least much of a ripoff, but it is still like extremely, you can tell, I could tell immediately when I looked at it, I'm like, what the heck? All right. Look at that. Blue stripe. Hey, at least got the blue stripe. All right. Uh, let's open up this one and take a peek. So again, rubber tires. I mean, three bucks for a set of those. Probably not too bad of a deal for you customizers out there that enjoy doing that kind of stuff. Oh, the funny car doesn't open. So this one's the least amount of value as far as how close it is to the Hot Wheels. But uh, yeah, rubber tires, plastic, metal base, and... 
or not metal base, plastic base, metal base on that one. Uh, metal cab of the truck, metal cab of the truck there, interior tooling looks the same, and the front looks close, not as close as some of the, the other ones do, but close enough. I mean, this is pure comedy. So, yeah, what do you guys think about this? This is, this is far off, though. These are, like, wildly off from each other because, oh, and this isn't even the right car, right? I think this is the Cuda... I can mix these funny cars up. Anyway, one of them's different. This one's a different one. This is the other, the other car that should be in red, right? The. So that's actually different. That's why the front end is so different. Still, <laughs> oh, it's funny. All right, that's it. I wanted to show you guys that. I thought that would be. Oh, I put it on the wrong truck. I thought it would be. <laughs> Just a fun thing to take a look at. But hey, uh, if you got a Menards in your area, I guess that's the only place you're going to find these is at Menards. But I guess if you're a customer, a customizer, this might be worth, might be worth scooping up a set of these or scooping up whatever you need for wheels. But I thought this was really funny. And, uh, you know, yeah. Diecast! The new brand, Diecast! Diecast, this is a Diecast, Diecast. So yeah, hit up your Menards, and if you want these, that's where I found them. Maybe you'll find them there if you get lucky, or maybe if you get unlucky, I don't know. But I thought it was hilarious. So thanks again for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and, uh, you know, have a great day. Thanks. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Peace.